Hey, welcome to episode 93 of the Fit Postpartum Mom podcast. I'm Jenna, and today we are diving deep into chapter 9 of Atomic Habits. If you've been hanging out with me for a long time, you know that we are doing a chapter review of this book, going deep into each chapter so that you can apply these strategies so you can effectively have amazing habits in your life as a postpartum mom. If you know that you are sort of lacking in certain areas and that you know that you just need to get these healthy habits in place, you want to start working out consistently, you want to have healthy meals consistently, this is a great place to start. Start listening to these episodes. These are the odd episodes in my podcast where we are going into all the content inside the book, Atomic Habits by James Clear. And today is a great episode because we are talking about the role of your friends and family on your lifestyle. Yes, it's going to get a little deep here. We are going into how your your tribe is affecting your life for real. So let's go into this episode and take some important nuggets out of this information so you can start making changes today. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey friend, welcome to the Fit Postpartum Mom Podcast, where you will learn how to strengthen your body after pregnancy and finally get rid of the postpartum pooch in less time. Fitness can fit easily into your busy schedule. There's a simple way to navigate your postpartum journey, and I'm here to teach you how to do it without the chaos, overwhelm, and tears. If you are here for a little sweat, a whole lot of sleep, defined, tight, and toned muscles, and to live your life as a mom to the fullest, then you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Dr. Jenna, but you can call me Jenna, and I'm a physical therapist and a mom of four little girls who has cracked the code on how to strengthen your core postpartum in the easiest way possible without the stress, exhaustion, or struggle. I did it, and now I'm here to help you do the same. It's all about progress, not perfection, and I'm here to help walk you through the journey to feeling strong, confident, and energized. That energy comes from within, not your coffee. Let's roll out your yoga mat and hit the floor, girl. It's time to do this. Hey there, mama. So glad that you're here with me today. And I just got to tell you, after having my first baby, I remember feeling completely overwhelmed and exhausted. And I'm guessing you feel the same way right now. And I was unsure how to start exercising again. Like I just didn't know how to get started. It was terrifying, actually, just thinking about the fact that I had to lie down on my yoga mat and do something. I I didn't know what to do. I was sort of scared that I was going to hurt myself. The idea of finding time and energy for a workout was just like impossible. I just couldn't find the time because everything else was more important. You know, taking care of my baby, taking care of my home, that was just more important to me. But then I discovered a simple approach, just two minutes a day to get started. That's it. I just needed two minutes a day. And that changed everything. Just Putting it down to bite-sized chunks of time made it so much easier for my brain to handle. And that's why I created my workshop called Postpartum Abs 101, how to safely start exercise in less than two minutes a day. This is a free workshop and it's designed to help you ease back into fitness without the overwhelm. So I would love for you to join me. We're doing this live on Monday, July 15th at 1 p.m. Eastern. So yes, mark your calendars, put this on your calendar right now. This is a free workshop I am giving to you where I can teach you how to get started with postpartum exercise without the overwhelm. And it's only two minutes a day to do these exercises. So if you're ready to get started and ready for me to coach you and guide you along the way in a live training, please sign up for Monday, July 15th at 1 p.m. Eastern. This is Postpartum Abs 101. You just got to go to www.livecorestrong.com slash training and sign up and you'll get confirmation in your email. Simple as that. Again, it's livecorestrong.com slash training. Can't wait to see you in the live workshop. Oh, and yeah, we're going to have a live Q&A at the end. So stick around and we get to chat at the end about anything and everything you want to chat about related to your postpartum journey. I'm here to help you and I can't wait to have you in the workshop. But right now I'm going to help you understand chapter nine of Atomic Habits. So let's dive deep into this content review of this book. And if you haven't gotten this book, definitely grab it, highlight it up and follow along with me. The link to getting this book is in my show notes below. So today we're talking about the role of family and friends in shaping your habits. 
Yes, they play a huge role role in your life, like in your habits, in the way you live your life, your lifestyle, all the things, but there's some science behind it. So whatever habits are normal in culture, right? That's what becomes attractive to us. So if it's normal in your town to walk the sidewalks, you're going to walk the sidewalks. If your neighborhood drives everywhere, and even if they're just driving from store to store to store, but you really can walk it, you're going to probably drive because it sort of feels awkward to walk around the parking lot when no one else is walking around the parking lot. This is just the cultural norm. We subconsciously are fearful of being judged by others and what others think. So there's a lot of science behind this. And I just want you to understand that like, this isn't your fault. It's not your fault. It's just the way that us as humans are programmed. We don't want to be the lone wolf. We don't want to be. And James Clear says the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. Like we don't want to be alone. We want to be in a tribe of people doing the same things that are a cultural norm. And so when it comes to our habits, we need to think about why are we doing the habits that we're doing? Is it because it's the norm in our family? Is it because it's the norm in our circle of friends? Well, Are you ready to step out and try something new or are you ready to find that tribe of friends that already has healthy habits in place? Are you ready to find that tribe of friends that is an encouragement to you rather than someone that's going to be judging you for doing something that's not culturally acceptable in your group? So let's talk about it. Are are your circle of friends working out consistently throughout the week? Or are they just scrolling social media with their spare time as a mom? I don't know. But you know what I do now is my group of friends who work out, we talk about our workouts and we talk about our health journey. We talk about some healthy food recipes. I mean, I have this one friend that makes like the most healthiest meals. And I'm always asking, what do you serve your kids? And what are you making? And what ingredients are you using? It's part of our conversation because we connect in that way. But if you have a circle of friends that don't eat healthy and aren't working out, then it's sort of uncomfortable to talk to them about like, oh yeah, I made this really healthy recipe the other day for dinner for my husband and he loved it. But then your friends aren't like really accepting the fact that you're trying to lose weight and trying to be healthy. So what I, what I want to say from this chapter is it's, it's sort of programmed in us as humans that we want to be surrounded by the norm. (laughs) So what is your norm? Is your norm healthy living or is your norm social media scrolling? I'm just using that as an example because that's really where our culture is going nowadays is scrolling on social media and spending a lot of time on screens rather than exercising or maybe cooking the healthy meals. So I'm trying to really flip the norm in your life to surround yourself with that healthy habit rather than all those distracting habits of screens and social media. James Clear says people who bond together feel safer and have access to more resources, right? Like I said with my friend, I have this friend who cooks healthy recipes and if it wasn't for her, I don't know if I would have even known about some of these healthy recipes. And if I have a friend that is really good at lifting weights, I might ask her like, okay, what do you do with your strength training for your arms? Because your arms look amazing, you know? So having a bond with a group of people gives us access to more resources, okay? So having that bond is really important. And who is who is the person that you're bonded to the most? Is it your husband? Is it your sister or your brother or your mom? And are they giving you what you need in a partner or in a friendship to help encourage you to live the healthy lifestyle that you want to live? Okay, we have talked about this in previous episodes. So definitely go back to the odd episodes because we have hit so many of these important points in this book. Atomic Habits, where we are learning about our tribe and the people and the influences around us. And this is crucial to success. If you want to instill these healthy habits for the long run, 
You need to have supportive people surrounding you. It is so hard to lose weight and to get stronger and to consistently work out when you have people tugging at you and asking you to do other things in your life that don't fill you up, that don't bring you joy. Um, you know, again, going to restaurants and just drinking some coffee and having a pastry with it isn't going to have the same effect as working out with your friend. You know, you can still hang out with your friend, but encourage your friend to work out with you or go for a walk with you or to go to the park. So there are ways that you can switch your lifestyle to be on the health track rather than on the downward spiral track. So I want you to think of a time where you're with a group of friends or you're in a a work environment, you're with a group of people and everybody wanted to do the same thing, but you know, in your gut, you're like, I don't want to do that. That's not what I want to do. That's not the right thing to do. Um, I just don't feel like that's right. But then you felt like that peer pressure in a way you felt that pressure that like everybody's doing it. So I might as well do it too. Okay, so there's probably a time where you felt that, whether it's back in high school or currently now with your family, they're all wanting to do something and you're like, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to eat that. And you do it anyways because everybody else is doing it. Like serving dessert at a family meal and everybody's passing around this chocolate cake and you know like you shouldn't be eating that chocolate cake, but everybody literally takes a slice of the chocolate cake and you feel awkward and uncomfortable saying no, or you don't want to offend the person who made the chocolate cake. So you take it anyways. So that's like that cultural norm. It's like, you don't want to be the lone ranger. You don't want to be the the lone wolf. You want to just stay with the pack and be in the cultural norm of your family or your friends. Do you think you could stand up for yourself and say like, not today, I'm not going to have it today. It's hard. It really is hard. And that's why it's important that you surround yourself with a community of people that can support you in these situations. And if you don't have that community yet, if you don't have a community of moms who are going through exactly what you're going through, who are on their postpartum journey and they're trying to lose the weight and they're trying to rebuild their muscle strength and they're doing this with no energy, energy is shot. But you all want to do the same thing. You all want to get your pre-pregnancy body back and you all want to get your core to look amazing again. You have to join my free Facebook community because that's where we're all hanging out. All the moms there are on the same path. They are struggling, but they want to get stronger and they are getting stronger and they're getting more consistent with their workouts and they're getting the motivation and inspiration to keep going. And it's such a great tribe of moms hanging out together motivating each other. So if you need that support, if you're ready for a group of women that are in the same place as you, please join us in our free Facebook community. The link is in the show notes. Just head on over there and we can all hang out there together and work out together in there. It's amazing. This is a great starting point for you. If you don't have that group of friends and if you want to connect with me more and you just need that support from me, that's a great place to start. We are all in there together supporting one another. James Clear talks about three important points that I want to go over really quickly. Number one, he says, imitating the close. That is one thing that he dives deep into is that we are imitating the people that are close to us in proximity. So we pick up the habits of people that are around us and we also pick up the bad habits of those around us. So it was really interesting. He talks about this study of 12,000 people over 32 years and It's at the end, it said your chance of becoming obese increases by 57%. If you had a friend that was already obese, yikes, Uh, that's not good. (laughs) And then the reverse also happens. If one person um, in your life starts to lose weight, then you will start to lose weight. A third of the people in that group did that. So just hang out with me, right? Because if I'm losing weight, if I'm staying strong and I did it all throughout my postpartum journey, you're more likely to lose weight and get strong as well. So it's it's proven you need to hang out with people who have the desired outcome that you want. So one of the most effective things you can do is join a culture with the desired behavior. Your behavior is more achievable if you see other people doing it every day simple as that, right? You're hanging out with someone who works out every day. You're more likely to work out every day. 
Okay, so you want to hang out with people who have the attractive behaviors. If it's attractive, right? We talked about that in our previous Atomic Habits episode, episode 91. If it's an attractive behavior, you're going to want to do it, right? And another bonus, he said, is if you find a tribe of people who already have something in common, like let's say you all go to the same church and you already believe in Jesus and you like have that in common, you have the same belief, and then you all want to work out together, that's like a double whammy. you like, it's awesome. You guys have the same beliefs and you both are working towards the same outcome of being strong postpartum moms. You will see the results so much faster. So find some people who already have common commonalities with you, whether you love crafting or you love swimming from back when you were in high school. Maybe you can swim together for your postpartum workouts. Who knows? But find something that you have something in common already, and then you tackle on the fitness aspect as well. All right. So the second thing that James Clear talks about is imitating the many. So this was like the example of being in an office setting where you have a group of people and you want to imitate what everybody else is already doing, right? Because you don't want to be the only person not doing it. So Find a group of people, a group of people who are already doing the thing that you want to do. So maybe that's when you want to join a gym, have, uh, you know, join a gym and uh, join a spin class and become friends with people in the spin class and continue to work out with them in the spin class. So that's another key example that James Clear talks about is, you know, surrounding yourself with the people that are of good influence for you. And then the last one, he talks about imitating the powerful. So we all want to be successful. We all want to be healthy, right? So it is important that for us, we want to have praise. We want to have respect from others. We want to have compliments from others. So like, we just want that in our lives, right? It's just human nature. So if we continue on the path of having healthy habits, we're going to achieve that desired outcome of approval from others. Again, that's just second nature. That's like engraved in us as humans. So let's come together and support one another to have the healthy lifestyle that we want as postpartum moms. We can do this. We just need to come together and support one another. If you are feeling lost in this conversation and thinking like, wow, I just don't have that support that I needed. And that's probably why I'm struggling so much. Or maybe you don't have that family support in your home and you're feeling like you're not making any ground because you're not getting that encouragement that you need from your tribe. Please join us in the free Facebook community and please join us in the free workshop that's coming on July 15th. This is a great starting point. So mark your calendar, get your mindset set for this time leading up to July 15th so that you are ready to take charge. Come July 15th with my free workshop and you're ready to get these exercises down in the ground on your yoga mat going. If you are pumped up to finally do something with your postpartum body, this is the best time to get started. So join our Facebook group first and then head on over and sign up for the free postpartum workshop at livecorestrong.com slash training. Can't wait to see you in the free workshop on July 15th. And remember to always live core strong. Did you learn something amazing today and feel like your mama friends would learn a lot too? You can have a huge impact on their lives and the lives of so many other moms by subscribing and leaving a review on iTunes or Apple Podcasts so the fit postpartum mom message can spread all over the world. New moms don't need to struggle anymore. The answers are all right here waiting for them. So take 30 seconds to share it. Take a screenshot of this podcast, tag me on Instagram, and post it in your stories. But before you go, please head over to Apple Podcasts, subscribe, and leave a five-star written review so you can help grow the Strong Mom community. i love to have you and your mom friends there with me. And as a thank you for being here all the way to the end, I have something special for you. I'm giving you free access to my training on how to safely start postpartum ab exercises in less than two minutes a day. Watch right now at www.livecorestrong.com class. I can't wait to see you next time on the Fit Postpartum Mom Podcast.